that's just wrong, girl. So from now on, I'll only call you. What's up, everybody? This your girl, Lady K, reporting live from I'm not telling you where. And we are in with Mr. Noel Gordine. He's in the building. What's happening? Are you enjoying your time in Buffalo so far? I am. I always do. Last time I was here uh, was a great time as well. Uh, I get a lot of love from Buffalo, so whenever I get the opportunity to be here, I'm here. So uh, it feels good to be here. That's great. We like to hear that. It's not too hot for you, is it? No. My folks from down south, Mississippi, okay. I'm talking about red dirt ditches, so this is, this is nothing yet. At least we didn't have snow for you this time, you know? Absolutely. That's, I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. So let's get into the music. Um, tell us a little bit about the inspiration for your new single that we play currently. It's called Beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, actually, I, I did that uh, with Ryan Toby. Uh, a lot of people know him from City High and uh, writing a lot of hits for a lot of different uh, artists in the industry. But uh, I came in on the latter half of that record, and that record just, to me, was so relevant and special and uh, needed right now. Um, because it, it just seems like a lot of the music out there right now in the airwaves and uh, the, lyrically, it seems like it's a lot of condescending uh, talk towards women and mm -hmm. degrading. And uh, I just thought that, that the industry needed music, uh, a record like this. Uh, so, you know, it, it feels good to step out on the ledge. A lot of people, you know, not a lot of people, but a few people have said it's kind of, you know, it's corny and it's just like totally catering to the women. But uh, I just thought somebody needed to say it. And, uh, it, you know, by the by the response, it seems like a lot of people want to hear something different. Yeah, why not? The ladies like that one-on-one -on -one attention. You know what I mean? You so got that, to sometimes. That's what it's about. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, tell me about the new album. What's it called? The new album is entitled Fresh the Definition. Uh, it's it's an, it's in stores, available in stores, and uh, as well as iTunes. So uh, make sure you check it out. It's it's pretty. I mean, uh, it, it's pretty much my my redemption story. Uh, as far as uh, when I left Sony uh, after having the River as a number one record, uh, holding that that title down number one for five weeks or so. Oh, that was um, a song too. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was it was a powerful record. It's pretty much my anomaly record. But uh, after leaving Sony, I, I sort of hit a rough patch and, and uh, went into a, a little depression and everything. So um, now with a new regime, uh, with Mass Appeal Entertainment and, and uh, E1 Music, uh, uh, the old Koch that a lot of people know it by, mm -hmm. my management, Marvin Mack, I uh, got my road manager over here, Joe Wiggins. Uh, we just we just trying to, I got a whole new regime and it's pretty much my redemption story and coming back and, and uh, feeling rejuvenated and, uh, as an artist as well as a man. So. You know, it feels good to be able to, to put this album out uh, and have it realized from the, the vision uh, aspect of what we wanted to do with it. So, it feels good. That's great. Um, what's your favorite song on the album? The favorite record on the album has to be number four. It's called Brand New, uh, the secondary title, Fresh. It's, it's the title track for the album. Uh, and it's, it's pretty much one of my first uh, records that I really went in and, and started writing on real heavy for the album. Uh, it's just talking about, you know, uh, when you wake up in the morning, it's a brand new start for you. If you don't like the way an aspect of your life is going, uh, it, it's the opportunity to change it. You know, the Lord blessed you to draw breath that morning. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, don't waste it. Uh, your job's never done until he, until he calls you home. So uh, it's, it's a good inspiration record. A lot of people have been hitting me, Facebooking me, tweeting me, talking about it's the first record they listen to uh, to start their day. So, you know, mission accomplished with that record. That's what's up. What's your favorite song to perform? Wow. It would have to be, uh, it's a mix between the, the summertime and, and the river. Uh, this, the river just has my heart. Uh, it's a, it's a very close to my family and I, um, you know, as well as the people that, that I co-wrote it with, Malabu Muhammad, Rama Brown, the female voice on the album. I mean, on the record, uh, the river and uh, CK. So, you know, that's really close to my heart. Uh, but Summertime is such a, you know, it's like a throwback, distant lovers type of record. And, uh, you know, it's, it's it's a really sensual, sexual record. So I like to get into it. I like to break into that that uh, barrier sometimes. That's what's up. And what um what do you plan to do different? I know last time you were at the Town Ballroom, and I was telling you a little bit about the trial and how it's more right. of an R&B, jazzy type of feel instead yeah. of that club ballroom feel. Right. So is there... Is there a different kind of energy you want to bring, or you just want to do your thing? Well, this time, uh, on my new album, Fresh the Definition, it's pretty much more of that organic, more instrumental, uh, you know, the live instrumental uh, implemented this time around. 
it's pretty much what I wanted to do my first time around uh, with Sony. Um, that pure production value of the music that inspired me to do what I'm doing now. Uh, you know, the, the old Sam Cooks, the Marvin Gaye, that, that, uh, Sam, uh, the Tyrone Davis and the, uh, Johnny Taylor, like that pure production value that had the, the big band feel and the horns and the strings. So mm -hmm. that's what we uh, set out to do with this album. The real and, stuff. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you know what I mean? So when it comes on, you can tell those are live horns in the back, the strings, and, you know, right from the bass to the grand piano. So... Uh, and, and the drums as well. So we, we pretty much set out to, to um, make an a organic album with uh, uh, retro and, and, and concepts and lyrics that you can feel that a lot of people can uh, you know, relate to. So that's what we put out, and I, I feel really uh, proud about it. That's what's up. And one quick question, um, like performer to performer, because I've opened up for um, Ndambi at the Trough. Oh, and that was I an see. interesting experience. Let like, me find out later. <laughs> well, no, I'm just kidding. It's about you right now. We're going to talk about that later. But um, no, I just know that um, performing with a band is so much more different when you're performing like with a track or with a beat. Right. And I know for me, sometimes it gets hard to focus because you're like, dang, they're really playing behind me. Yeah, like, you just want to yeah. listen, but then right. you gotta, you got to keep singing. Absolutely. So is it easier for you to focus with the band or is it a little bit more challenging for you um i mean i think it's 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 the same for me because when i do it to track my my big thing was i got the band into the studio to play it out live so i have like when i do the track it's actually live uh it's played Music. out live mm. so um uh, you know it, it it feels good it's a lot better when you have the band behind mm -hmm. you know just that you know that feel uh, that organic feel that, that you know, anything can happen at any particular time. A solo could break out or whatever, you know what I mean? So uh, I love the band behind me, but, you know, uh, in this day and time, you have to be able to adapt. If you can't have a band or, you know, a lot of times it's budget permitting. So, you know, in this industry, um, a lot of people say, why didn't you come with the band? All the, you know, sometimes it's budget. That's mm -hmm. just what it is. That's the way the industry goes. So, uh, but, you know, when, I, when I'm able to do it with the band, I love it. I mean, that's just what I prefer. But when I have to do it with track, you know, the, the, the people deserve a show. Uh, they're deserving of a show just like you would have a, a, a band or, or whatever, you know. Uh, so if there's 100 people in the spot and you, you performed last week for 1500 those 100 people deserve that same show that you get at 1500 So I, know, that's know, I right. try to carry that <laughs> that's the, everywhere I go. Cool. Well, let the people know here in Buffalo where they can find you. Can they find you on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, everywhere and anywhere? Absolutely on YouTube. You can check me out. I got my video up there. Beautiful uh, is up. Uh, a lot of ch pretty much my whole album is up. So if you want to sample it, that see we don't have no fear in putting out the whole album because we know it's quality. So y'all check it out and then you know you go ahead and buy it. Uh, check it out at the stores, like I said. Uh, Y'all can check me out on Facebook. It's Noel Gordine, N-O-E-L-G-O-U-R-D-I-N. So I have a personal page as well as a fan page on, on, on Facebook, and I work them both personally. Did you hit the 5,000 friend limit on the Facebook? It's almost, no, not my personal because I, I moved them over. I, I kind of, you know, push people over <laughs> to my fan page. Okay. I don't want it to shut down. Yeah, right, I right, exactly. <laughs> but uh, on Twitter as well, it's, it's no, at Noel Gordine, N-O-E-L. L G O U R D I N. So, you know, it feels good to be able to, because uh, last time I didn't have this, I didn't have the Twitter. Right. You know, and Facebook had just came in. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it feels good to be able to, to, to contact my, my fans one on one and, mm -hmm. and converse with them. So. Those are hot commodities right now, those social networks. Oh, uh, aren't they? Though? It's <laughs> they crazy. are. It's like, you know, the labels got me on it. I hit the ground crawling, like, for real, though. Like, <laughs> I was trying to work in. They're like, did you tweet? Did you tweet? Did you do that? I was like, yeah. You know, I'm trying to trying to get used to it. It's good for them to know that you're actually the one doing it. It's not some assistant or some oh, publicist. It's me. No, it's all me. Nobody screening your tweets. No, nah, it's just you. No, just me. That's just good. Me. Yeah. That's real. This is real right here. Mm -hmm. Always. <laughs> all right, you want to give the ladies a little sample? Hmm. Let me see. Girl, you are a princess, a goddess in flesh of my flesh. You're majestic and precious, the best of the best. The Lord created you, cause he looked at men and knew that we could never make it on our own, girl. And I thank God each day for making you so soft and so sweet, like a fresh strawberry. Uh, I want to bite you and squeeze you, your love is necessary for me to be great as I am. 
I need you in my corner and I'm gonna make sure you know you're my treasure and I'm so much better so from now on I'll only call you beautiful beautiful from head to toe you are yeah Masterpiece done by the hands of God, yeah. Woman, even though your life gets hard, here's a song just to let you know what you are. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. That's what's up. That was Noah Gordine, everybody. Make sure you check him out. Um, he's going to be at the trough tonight. I'm not sure if the video is going to be up by then, but hopefully I'll be able to make it happen so people can get a preview for tonight. Yeah, yeah. And if not, make sure you hit him up on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, anywhere and everywhere. He will be there for you. And he is the one that is responding. He's real. He's here in Buffalo showing some love. So show him some love back. Appreciate it. Press the definition. You are a princess, a goddess in flesh of my flesh. You're majestic.